welcome back. So today I reached in the bucket of locks that I got from Pickbeard. Thank you very much for the locks, man. I really appreciate it. I uh, pulled out this box. Um, it has a uh, Euro cylinder in it. This one is an Ultimate Pro uh, three-star kite mark, which is awesome. I have uh, not picked a three-star, so um, it is a Schlosser Technic. Um, let's see here. It says. I'll get that to focus. Uh, snap, sa snap safe, anti drill, anti bump, anti pick, which is what I'm interested in, uh, anti tamper, and the three star kite mark, which is awesome. Totally awesome. Makes this a pretty uh, high security lock, I would imagine. Um, you know, uh, I know those stars have to do with the drill protection and, uh, you know, how. The quality of it, uh, that's what the BSI uh, kite mark is for. Um, but I know that that's a rating system because I know that I've picked a one star and I think I've picked a two star before, but I've never picked a three star before. So um, that's pretty neat. Let's uh, see what we got in here. Um, well, that's cool. I just noticed right away it's got uh, set screws in the top, which it looks like that ring is complete too, so it doesn't look like I'll be able to get it that way. So I'll pull them through the top. Um, we got an ST, which is, I guess, the Slosher uh, Technic on that side, and the Kite Mark on this side, which is neat. Very cool. Um, and I would imagine this is the outside, because it's got the uh, snap right there. So, huh, okay, cool. Let's um, put this in the vise. Well, first, let's make sure the keys work. <laughs> I, I always forget about keys. They're just not that important to me. <laughs> I'm all about picking. Um, that's a hell of a bidding on that key, too. Wow, holy crap. Uh, cool key, though. It's uh, It's got plastic on it. It's a uh, Schlosser Technic on that side and the three-star kite mark on that. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's make sure this works. It does. Works perfectly. That's that side. Okay, yeah, it works on both sides. Um, let's put this in the vise and see if I can get into it. It's a Yale style keyway, which will be good. Um, let's see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Okay, Make sure it works in the vise. It does work just fine. It's locked up. Um, let's move that up and zoom in. we go hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing here and hopefully I get this to focus come on focus okay come on focus there we go and uh, let's see, I grabbed my 30 thousandths while I was trying to get that to focus. And let's go with my 18 thousandths gem because that's what I've been using in these Yale style keyways. And uh, what I do is, is well, maybe I've said it a million times, I work off this ledge. Um, a lot of guys work around a corner, I like the ledge. So, get in this, there we go. Yeah, I should be able to. This is a six pinner. And we are going to start in the back of the lock as I normally do. And uh, search for binder. Okay, I felt like six was giving me a little bit. That was four, I think. Or three or four. Okay, I think I got a little rotation there off of four. That was two. Kind of feel like I'm oversetting there when I get to the back. Okay, that was six. Four. 
four, three, Two, a little bit on three there. That was five. Honestly, I'm not liking this pick. Um, I'm going to change picks. I think I'm going to go with my 18,000th DeForest Diamond. I've got one of those. Um, it's a little bit thinner um, through here. Oh, hold on, a little bit thinner through here. So I felt like I was oversetting. So maybe, maybe this will work a little bit better. Let's see here. Starting the back of the lock again and search for a binder. That was six. Pull forward four. A little bit on one. Three is binding. Okay, I got a little bit on him. That was a good click or not. That was six again. He dropped back down on me. Oh, hello. Um, four was binding, and I just got a good deep false set. Oh, just touched three and got a little bit deeper. Ooh, counter on one. Okay, I think I got him set. Oh, nope, there we go. Now I got him set. Looking for counter. And I got it on two. Come on, get underneath him. Okay, I got him set. I'll go back to the back of the lock and check. And oh, oh, okay, there we go. Just touch three. Heck yeah, it's picked. Okay. Um, wow, that was kind of a tricky little lock. Um, let's get the uh, pitting tray out and see what we got inside this. Um, uh, hopefully I can, I gotta get it that high. A little bit of preparedness would have gone a long way. I'd kind of find the set screw Allen wrench. Okay. Uh, let's zoom out for you guys. Sorry about that. And set this down. Um, I am going to have to lock it back up to get the uh, key pins out. Um, but let's get the, let's get the, uh, let's see if we'll come Yep. All right. Cool. That's the right size. Um. Let's grab my pen tray. And I won't need a followers because I'm not going to need any of that actually. Not if I'm going through set screws. Um. Doesn't matter if I lock it back up. But let's see what we got in this. That's one. We have a spring and a spool. Two. We have Loctite. <laughs> spring and another spool.
spring and a I think it's a standard Uh, Anti-drill standard. That's cool. I'll have to show you guys that. Let's see here. Oh, come on, spring coming out. Oh, wow. Holy crap. That's a freaking nail. I guess that's the anti-bump pin. Wow, that is cool. I have not seen one of those before. Okay, <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah, let's get to five and six here so I can zoom in and show you guys this. This is uh, quite, quite interesting. All right, another spool. That would be the anti-bump. <laughs> that is cool as heck is what that is. Wow. And another spool. Alright. Let's um, lock this back up. Let's see if I can get these out. That was one. Is a standard. Two is a standard. Three doesn't want to come out. Three. Okay. I can feel six touching on. Not very good at this. That would be four. This which is another standard. Man, that is wicked. Okay. Five and six. Okay. And without getting I can't get this plug out because it's got the ring on it. So I can't tell you what's inside. Um but I can tell you what's on the pins, which is really awesome here. Um, so I don't know if there's anything done to the plug. Because um, I'm not going to cut that. Um, unless I decide later to cut this in half. But at any rate, let's show you these awesome pins. Sorry guys, long video, but this is pretty wicked. Um, inside of this lock, which is this three-star three kite marked uh, uh, Schlosser. Technic. Um, I had all standard pins on the uh, key pins. And then in the drivers, we had a uh, spool, a spool, uh, another spool, and then that is one cool pin. Um, that I guess is the anti bump pin. Um, it looks like a nail through a. Um, yeah, that is wicked, wicked. Yeah, looks like a, a, an actual, almost looks like a nail. <laughs> uh, and then we had a spool and a spool. So, um, pretty pretty wild stuff. Um, thank you, Pickbeard, very much for sending this awesome lock. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time, and uh, don't break the lock.